I'm Franklin, and this is a look at the month of April for the air sign Gemini. Your best days in April will be the 11th, the 12th, and the 13th, when the moon will be in Gemini, and you will be at high tide. When the moon sign, or your ruling planet Mercury, passes through Gemini, we all see the duality of the universe and both sides of any issue. Now here's a look at April for Gemini, and this month we have a Mercury retrograde, which is a mini reincarnation as we're all given a second chance to make things better, April 1st through the 24th. Also, this month we have a solar eclipse on the 8th, and this is like a karmic reboot. It relieves pressure, allows for new beginnings. That'll be on the 8th. Now, here's a look at April for Geminis, and we'll begin with Geminis in love. The first week of the month, accepting criticism is admitting that you made a mistake, and that's the only way to be able to learn from your mistakes. In week number two, things are moving slowly at this time, but if uh, you keep playing by the rules, you will succeed in the end. In week number three, others are asking too much of you. It's time to assert yourself. Ask them to do their part before it causes a blow up. In week number four, the surest way to bring new into your life is to let go of the old, release the past. Now here's a look at April in your career. In week number one, admitting that something is wrong is the first step towards fixing any problem by identifying the cause. In week number two, it's important to show patience right now as your reactions to the unforeseen delays are being noted. In week number three, you're given the opportunity to stand by someone who's done you a favor in the past, and now you can pay them back in the best way possible. In week number four, there's a new opportunity that cannot materialize until you make room for it in your life by taking the next step in your karmic path, which begins by finding the open door. Which door is open? Now, here's a look at April and your finances. Week number one, when your actions and your words are seen by others as a match, you gain their confidence and build your own self-confidence. In week number two, it's important to set a good example because others mimic your actions, so your actions are going to be repeated. In week number three, one thing leads to another, as a breakdown in communication leads to a breakthrough, and a new path is revealed to you. And then in week number four, releasing the past means opening yourself to alternative business deals and proposals, and this is having an open mind and also having open ears. So that's a look at your days in April according to your sun sign. Now here's a look at your nights in April, and this is according to your moon sign. The first week of the month is the week of the last quarter of the moon, and this moon rises in Scorpio. So the dreams and the visions that come this week show us that it's time to let go of old attitudes and the entire way of living our old life. In week number two, the week of the new moon, this moon rises in Aquarius. The dreams, the visions that come this week show the future as being a better place where we will be happier. And in week number three, the week of the last quarter of the moon, this moon rises in Taurus. The dreams, the visions that come this week show us that we need to wait for the right time instead of wasting efforts trying to push the river and make it run faster. 
in week number four, the week of the full moon. This moon will rise in Virgo. The dreams, the visions that come this week warn against seeking perfection or expecting perfection from those around us. And that's a look at April for the air sign Gemini. If you like what you see here, please hit the subscribe button.